children, Stars is the eldest of the brood of five. Her name is Swell, or so she's called by her friends. And uh, she's kind of, you know, a normal teenager who gets put in kind of an adult situation where she has to take care of her family because our babysitter dies and our mother is gone. So she has to go get a job. And um, through the course of the movie, she kind of, she grows up and she becomes an adult, but then finally realizes that she has so much more to do, you know, so much more to learn, so much more to grow. To support the family, she goes to work for Joanna Cassidy, who plays her off-the-wall boss. I think she must be a little ditzy because she hires Sue Ellen. I like the fact that the, all the transitions that she gets to make throughout the movie, you know, from being this, you know, kind of teenager with an attitude to a sophisticated woman in an office. I like that. While camera crews were filming downstairs, excellent adventure. He's, he's a very sensitive person, so... Everything that that he does, it comes from his gut. You know, we've talked about this before, he and I, about like how we don't like to like, make lots of notes on stuff because we like it to come from, you know, a feeling and a gut feeling, you know. And sometimes he'll just come up to me and he'll just say, do it again, same thing but different, you know. And I'll know exactly what he's talking about, you know, because it's, it's just, he feels things. He feels a scene out first, you know, before he starts peeling it apart and stuff. It's really, it's really a great way to work. I chose this one because I, it had a similar um, feel that Bill and Ted had um, because the kids, they... they you know? <laughs> There's that warm family feeling, but you're dealing with a lot of very real today kind of characters. You know, you've got Kenny who's on the roof with his buddies and they're like, you know, they drink beer and they pot they're just all over the place you know and they're crazy and they're real they're like real teenage guys not all teenage guys mind you but you know they're real and um you know every family has that every family can find the love and they can find the warmth you know and it's just these kids happen to have done it on their own just ahead the naked gun two and a half relax mom everything's gonna be great when you're gone I've been planning on this for a while. I mean, I've been, every summer that we've been doing Married, I've done something. Whether or not anybody's seen it, I've done something. And this is probably the most, the biggest, you know, billboard size kind of a thing that's happened so far. I'm a babysitter. What? I actually did something a couple of years ago, which is the same kind of thing, but it was, it was, you know, just a little small movie that was, basically for all of us. But this one is big, and this is a lot of responsibility. The responsibility of starring in a film may be new to Christina Applegate, but for the past five years, she shared the responsibility of co-starring in Fox TV's hit series, Married with Children. Applegate's career began at the ripe old age of three months when she appeared with her mother, actress Nancy Pretty, on Days of Our Lives. In Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, Applegate plays a teenager whose summer vacation is filled with adult challenges like taking a job. I don't think she realizes that she can be responsible. I don't think she realizes that she can handle it all. And she, I think, when I read it, this was a normal teenager. And you take any normal teenager and you put them in that situation and they have no choice but to grow up and, and to take that responsibility, then that's what you have. That's what this, you know, this character, this is what has happened to her in her life. You know, I mean, she has no choice. You know, when you have no choice, when you're, you know, standing on the edge and, and someone's going to push, you've got to grab on. You've got to take charge. So overqualified for entry level, it's ridiculous. For God's sake, you're a vassar gal. I mean, you'd much rather be my executive assistant. Please say yes. Yes. And everybody says that I'm, I'm carrying this movie, which I think in a way is, is kind of false because I think that this is a very big ensemble of very strong characters and very strong people. And I think that not one character really stands out. I think we all kind of make it work. So I try not to think of it as, is it all on my shoulders? I mean, yeah, that's my name up there and yeah, you know, I'm through every scene, but I think that everybody really put forth a lot of work and a lot of effort and, you know, I think we all carry it. You bought a home entertainment center? It's Walter's idea. Well, it's going back. You can't take it back. We got it on sale. I'd love to have, you know, 
gone to a high school and, and gone to college and everything, which, you know, someday I'm going to do. But for right now, this is what I really love to do. And I don't miss it, and I don't regret it. And, and as you were saying before, I don't think that people really mature fast in this business. I think they have to take on a lot of responsibility. But I don't think, I think the maturing process comes with um, experience, and it comes with years, and it comes with all that. Smoking the charming nostalgia Mrs. Of Crandall, what? Mom's home. I would like to um, achieve success. And success to me is being just completely happy and growing every day and never feeling that I've done it all because I will never have done it all. You know, I will gonna, I'm just going to keep on experiencing, and that's what I want. I don't have a game plan. I don't have a set like, okay, the next role I'm going to do is going to, you know, be this. It's not going to be like that. You know, whatever comes to me and whatever feels right, that's what I'm going to do. If something doesn't feel right, I'm, I'll know it. You know, I feel that um, you create your own your own future, and, and I'm creating mine. And it's just, it's not going to be like anybody else's. It's going to be mine. And the very successful Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead opened at number six on the charts. Christina Applegate masquerades as her screen mother, actress Conchetta Tomai, in the film. And in real life, the two look nothing alike.